We were coming out of a decade of depression and didn't want to get mixed up in Europe's problems. But all that changed on December 7, 1941, after Pearl Harbor. Colonel Ruse introduced me into a special squadron called Iron Wings. I didn't know much about our purposes, but I really wanted to join that war badly. I went to meet an old friend of mine and asked her to be my wingmate. Amelia and me had been childhood friends, hard to believe in 1920. Her father was an Italian flying ace in the First World War who had escaped the fascist regime. He was a good man, but always seemed a little sad. He taught us how to fly. Amelia came from the WASP, Women's Armed Services Pilots. They were allowed to fly, but they weren't even trained to shoot, so she left. By the end of the war, 27 WASPs had died in battle, and the armed forces didn't even allow the stars and stripes to be placed on their coffins. They were considered as civilians and non-combatants. As I said, son, these were hard times. It's time to dance. So, sister, are you sure you don't want to change your mind? What the hell? How did you get into my radio frequency? Next time, lock your home door. Oh, great. may be in danger. Well, considering I'm here, I could give you some tips. Oh my god. Jack, are you still there? Listen to me. Don't waste your water. I saw a couple of water silos close to the fire. Are you telling me to knock down the silos? Yes, ma'am. Amelia, listen to me carefully. It's important. If you perform a quick flip while the target is locked, you'll be faced right in front of it. Sounds like an important tip. It is worth a try. burning barn. I think there are no water silos this time. No. I need to drop a water bomb over these fires. Amelia, reduce your speed to the minimum. Copy that. I suggest you reach a height of a thousand as it's easier to target the objective. Bomb equipped. I get it. Amelia, if you move too much, you'll be unstable and your bomb will lose the objective. Jack, I know that. That's my job. Hey, it's just to remind you. Bomb on target. Gun equipped. Bomb equipped. Bomb away. Here you are, Seed Eater. I'm coming for you. Amelia, I've had a few calls from other barns in trouble. Nothing to worry about, but if you want to make more money, well... Extra money? Hmm, let me think about it.
on fire. Animals are in danger. Repeat. Please, we need help. Hay is on fire. Animals are in danger. Repeat. Please, we need help. Hay is on fire. Animals are in danger. Repeat. Please, we need help. Hay is on fire. Animals are in danger. Repeat. Please, we need help. Hay is on fire. Animals are in danger. Repeat. Please, we need help. Hay is on fire. Animals are in danger. Repeat. Please, we need help. Hay is on fire. Animals are in danger. Repeat. Please, we need help. Hay is on fire. Animals are in danger. Repeat. Please, we need help. Hay is on fire. Animals are in danger. Target acquired. I will proceed with the mission. I'm equipped. to kill crows? Really? No, just scare them a bit. Oh, I didn't know you were so sensible. I'm not. Of course. I just want to give you a tip I learned in Tuskegee training. I'm all ears, Captain. It's hard to face flying targets frontally. Follow its route and tail chase. Tail chase? perfect position to engage the enemy is right behind the tail. It doesn't take a lot of calculating how much you want to leave the target. You just move on your correct route and fire. Do you get it? Almost. Engage flying target from behind, right? Right. Leather jacket, sunglasses, cool motorbike. Too funny. I should take a picture of him before he leaves the farm. Okay, I better turn off the camera. Camera equipped. 